It's Friday Night Lights Season 1 review. There's episode-by-episode written reviews with a link below. You can take a look at uh, interesting kind of reviews about developing the episode-by-episode, episode, kind of from a fan's perspective. I'm a fan of the show, but I'll try to take a spin at being a non-fan of the show. Uh, the theme of Season 1, Friday Night Lights, is I guess it's about passion, and it's about the obsession, the difference between obsession and passion, and also the people who are around people who are passionate about something and they're not able to perform their own passion. So you have a guy who is the lead quarterback, he gets into a wheelchair, he has to figure out what his passions are besides football, if there is any, or be because even though he can't, he can never perform again, you have the wife and this is what makes the show, the husband and wife relationship. And I don't think they set out to do this uh, originally in the Friday Night Lights. I, I have a feeling that they didn't, but this is a pretty dynamic uh, uh, marriage relationship. And this is what makes the whole show because it's very realistic and it's also very entertaining. And it's just very true and genuine. And the Kyle Chandler and Connie Britton who play the husband and wife, they bring out these characters into its own fruition and you see the kind of ins and outs of what a passionate coach goes through and you kind of root for the guy. Even if you're not a football fan, you kind of understand from his perspective of where he is. And it's about a wife who, who's who been following his husband's passions for a long time and she finally is like, you know what, I'm going to do what I, my pa I'm passionate about. I'm, I'm passionate about being an educator and it's about him kind of dealing with that this is a very kind of cliche kind of show and it's interesting that they did 22 episodes because it was going to go on nbc and then it went on on uh, cable shows afterwards where when they had 13 episodes it kind of worked a lot a whole lot better than the 22 episode arc because they seem like kind of like filling in episodes but it was entertaining to, to watch of course this is a cliche where they 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 talk about that it's the end of the big game and the big game occurs, and we have to figure out if this team has what it takes to win it or not. So you get all these characters. It doesn't seem to be enough black characters. It doesn't seem enough. I played football. I played high school football. So I have a certain perspective, I can say, that I understand what it takes to be a high school football player. And let's put, let's put it this way. I'm, I'm like 220 right now, 6'3", 220. I was about 250 when I played football. And all these kind of characters don't really seem to be worthy or like they don't seem to be juiced up to be basically playing football. But, you know, it's a white show too. There's not enough black people as well. But at the same time, there is an essence and it's between the father and the, and the, uh, the husband and the wife, which really works. That's my review.